Fear is always with us, but we just don't have time for it. Not now. Always aim high, work hard, and care deeply about what you believe in. And when you stumble, keep faith. And when you're knocked down, get right back up and never listen to anyone who says you can't or shouldn't go on. The worst thing that can happen in a democracy as well as in an individual's life is to become cynical about the future and lose hope. That is the end. And we cannot let that happen. I think that if you live long enough, you realize that so much of what happens in life is out of your control. But how you respond to it is in your control. That's what I try to remember. People can judge me for what I've done. And I think when somebody out in the public eye, that's what they do. So I'm fully comfortable with who I am, what I stand for, and what I've always stood for. There is a sense that things, if you keep positive and optimistic about what can be done, do work out. Every moment wasted looking back keeps us from moving forward. In this world and the world of tomorrow, we must go forward together or not at all. Do all the good you can, for all the people you can, in all the ways you can, as long as you can. You know, everybody has setbacks in their life, and everybody falls short of whatever goals they might set for themselves. That's part of living and coming to terms with who you are as a person. It is often when night looks darkest, it is often before the fever breaks that one senses the gathering momentum for change, when one feels that resurrection of hope in the midst of despair and apathy. We need to be as fearless as the women whose stories you have applauded, as committed as the dissidents and the activists you have heard from, as audacious as those who start movements for peace when all seems lost. To every little girl who dreams big, yes, you can be anything you want even president. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be enough in touch with who you are and what you want, how you want to live and what's important to you, to make your decisions based on that. Sometimes that's very difficult. I suppose I could have stayed home and baked cookies and had teas. But what I decided to do was to fulfill my profession which I entered before my husband was in public life. You have just one life to live. It is yours. Own it. Claim it. Live it. Do the best you can with it. We can tell stories all night and we can talk about the women who have inspired us. But what inspires me is not just who they are, but what they do. They roll their sleeves up and they get to work. I have always believed that women are not victims. We are agents of change. We are drivers of progress. We are makers of peace. All we need is a fighting chance.